Each spring, the azure waters of the French Mediterranean attract an unusual guest. Meet Hippopodius, small, gelatinous, enigmatic. In the open ocean, Hippopodii are hard to spot. They're transparent, blending in with their surroundings as if they weren't even there. But if you get close enough to one, something odd happens. At the slightest touch, chemical reactions are initiated in the skin, and opaque granules begin to appear in the layer below it. In a matter of seconds, the entire animal turns a milky white. Once white, it may take up to 30 minutes for Hippopodius to become transparent again. This little party trick is called blanching. The biologist George Mackey, Professor Emeritus at the University of Victoria in British Columbia, is a leading expert on the topic. Based out of this limestone building by the sea in southern France, he has spent many months studying Hippopodius and its quirky cousins. So how does a Hippopodius blanch? Dr. Mackey believes that the answer lies with the skin. If an island of skin is isolated by a circular cut, the ring of denuded skin remains permanently white. Now, if a stimulus is given elsewhere in the body, the peripheral region blanches, but the central island within the ring remains transparent. This shows that intact skin is needed both for propagation of blanching and for the restoration of transparency. And why does blanching occur? Our doctor suspects that it is a protective response. Um, Hippopodius feeds on microscopic plankton and it has no obvious means of defending itself against larger animals. Uh, it's normally invisible, but in the blanched condition, you can imagine it looming up suddenly and it would be avoided by schools of small fishes or planktonic things which might otherwise collide with it and damage it severely. The story gets even more riveting after nightfall. Take it away, Dr. Mackey. Well, you may wonder um, what happens at night uh, when the blanching response can't be seen. Well, the skin actually can respond when touched, not just by blanching, but it gives off waves of bright, dazzling flashes of light. And this is probably just as effective in deterring interlopers. My name is Potikrit, and this video is brought to you by CreatureCast. Special thanks to George Mackey, Stefan Siebert, Natividad Chen, and the Granoff Center and Science Center at Brown University. For more videos about the amazing world of biology, visit creaturecast.org.